Here's a simple thing, it's how to repair those SLRs. Here's one repaired, and you must admit it's quite a good job. They are stock of me and a silencer. Right, easy to do. First of all, get your broken SLR. Now, the most important thing you've got to do is make sure that you file the end so there's no remains of the original barrel. And then what you have to do, using a small, small drill, either a Dremel or a ho any type of hobbyist drill, or even um, commercial, you know, whatever you've got lying around, but make sure you want a drill bit roughly about the same diameter as it. Now, this is actually, it's not a matchstick or a cocktail stick. It's actually what you buy from the superstars or whatever, um, or hardware, whatever. It's, it's actually a, a wooden skewer, obviously cut down. Uh, I think this has about the right thickness for the actual, uh, the actual barrel end. Um, so obviously you cut to the length, obviously if you've got an L, you need to get an LSR, uh, sorry, <laughs> I've got a call, it's affecting my brain, you need to get an original SLR and obviously measure and obviously allow some, because obviously you've got to drill so far down to put the part of the barrel in, which you know, once you've got the length and you drill the hole, it's quite simple. Now, a little tip here, when you're drilling, it might be a good idea if, it, if you can control the speed, because what happens, the plastic gets so hot, it can bubble it, it can cause the actual um, the end of the um, the rifle to bubble out, which is what we want. So, just a little burst. Uh, so, I mean, my I've got a drill, it's got like a, obviously like a, a speed control on it, and most hobby drills have the same speed control. So, where you, you, where you find easy to do that? Once you've got the hole into the actual um, rifle itself, it's about, obviously you've cut the length, and then you super glue, push into the end. And then you just silver glue it in, wait for it to dry. Then you just simply either cut the proper length within the barrel, and then using um, this uh, any uh, any household wire. Uh, I think this is a, actually off a headphone jack. I'm not sure where. Uh, obviously, take the existing uh, car wire out, and then uh, it just slide it over. And then this is what this is basically what you get. You know, and, and I tell you what. It's, really solid and you must admit it, it it does look pretty good it's a shame to throw these out these nice little model rifles out because there's plenty of life in them so like i said just to just you know once again just be careful when you're actually drilling you know because it, it speed it can cause a heat and obviously the bubble so it's just trial and error maybe you can practice on some bit of plastic or something or whatever, whatever you need to do but it's just quite simple so you need all you need is to get these barbecue skewers then just matter of just painting it glue it in Put the flexor as a silencer, job's done. That's a, that's a thumbs up.